hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new tutorials and today we're going to start uh, a new project and which is the basic of the ui design uh, for the xd that means adobe xd today uh, this one is the first episode of the basic xd here uh, if you download that xd applications you know that that one is for the ui and ux design uh, mainly basically uh, ui design you know xd uh, that means uh, is uh, adobe applications similar like photoshop illustrator and if you find out what is the ui and ux design uh, ux is a uh, engineering of uh, the user interface and ui for the so if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications user interface that is the graphical part so if you consider uh, that things you can use your sketchbook for the ux design but uh, you need a software for the ui design you know that the graphical part uh, that's why xd is the perfect uh, software to use that so here are some templates if you open up at first um, here are some templates the iphone x iphone 6 7 5 and android mobile if you need to design for the android mobile and ipad all things and the web templates if you need to design the web inter interface you can use that template and you can uh, basically uh, manually give the hidden weight the custom size and from here i will take a phone size which is uh, iphone x and if you take this one and uh, you'll get an artboard like uh, adobe illustrator those who are the user of the adobe illustrator you know that this one is too similar to the others application um, from the adobe here are some settings that means the basic tools the move tools and the square round the line segment tool or line tool pen tool text tool artboard if you uh, want to change the artboard shape press over here you can get the all the templates over here suppose i want to change this one into iphone 6 or you can take the newly one like that if you press once it will take like that or you can get the artboard like that so after that here is the artboard that is iphone x you can rename that things and giving the ui of x okay fine that means a user interface and you can draw some shapes uh, here suppose you want to draw circle press the shift and as usual and alter option button and like that so you can use or you can draw this type of shape and all other applications like that after working with the any kind of tools go to the move tool or the selection tool it will help you out to select these things okay fine and if you want to change the color and other steps in the right side you will get all the things suppose you want to make it alignment in the middle you can do that or like that like this these or these so i want to make it full middle top to bottom and the left to right after that if you want to change the hidden weight from here you can rotation over here and you can link up and you can change the size suppose i want to make it 500 it will be bigger and uh, the ratio will be like that so here and here is the opacity and here is the fill color if you want to get the color from here suppose i want to get the color like this or this color okay the xd adobe xd color like this and this one is a fill color and here is i picker to pick up the color from here and here is the border so here is the border you can turn off or on by pressing the tick button so i want to take the border color which is uh, like this the light one okay and after that so if you want to choose color from here you can choose from here and if you want to make the border size bigger give like 10 it will be bigger like that so you can move over here and if you want to give the shadow like this so here a little bit shadow will appear you can change the shadow and other stuff like i want to make it six and i want to make it eight it will be like that so you can give the shadow and background blur if you want to make the background blur like here like this or 
from here object blur you can make the object blur like that so you can press over here and if you want to write down something here how to do that here is the text tool and select once and you can change the fill color like white and write down like so white color and writing down like xd so like that and select this one you can make the size bigger like 100 and if you want to make it in a middle you have to make the alignment in a middle from here so this one or you can select these two things and you can make it middle if you want to change the text color go to the fill color and change it into white and if you need to change the alignment like this uh, left right and other stuffs and from here if you want to need to underline this one you can make it underline and here is the difference like a gap between two lines and other stuff and gap between two letters if you make it 100 uh, it will be gap like that so you can do that and if you want to change the font types so if you want to make it impact or other stuffs like uh, evening so from here here is the types if you want to make the types if you use the font family which have uh, different types you can make it from here so in the middle select these two things and make it middle like this okay you're getting like that but uh, you can make it group by pressing controller command g and you are getting all the layers over here and giving the name like icon and you can make it in a middle so after that now try another shape here the rectangle tool so i'm drawing a rectangle similarly i will give the color similar to this so i picker i will pick up from here and give the color like this so you can make it round like that or you can write down over here so again i'll uh, go to the text tool the upper side of the shape and making the font size like 12 and now if i write down something learn and make the font size 12 and that's great or uh, 20 is good okay so from here if need you can give if need and make it light or you can make it bigger like uh, 30 so you can make it smaller like 25 is good and if you want to give the shadow over here go to the shadow portion or give some shadow over here and if you want to uh, add some uh, text or the image over here how to use that so you can directly drag and drop over here how to do that so suppose you have some uh, photo you download it and you can drag it and drop over here and after that you can make it smaller or bigger by pressing shift and alter and it will be small like that so i'm making it like this and this that's fine but this one in the upper side of the all layer so i will take it in a down of the all layer and uh, similarly here is some options to make the opacity so this portion will appear which is automatically cut or crop um, according to the artboard and you can go to the file and save as so how format you can save from here so i'm making this tutorial that's why i'm giving the ep1 and saving it out and here go to the file and like export options and if you go to the artboard options and you can uh, give the artboard like png or uh, like that here is the pdf svg and jpg so if you give the png mode and export the artboard the artboard will export and let's see what is or what look like the output is so output is like that so you can make it a mock-up easily so how to do the mock-up go to the web browser and find out some mock-up like a ui mock up free so if you search over here in the internet and freemockup.com uh, lots of site over there here is iphone 
x mock up you can uh, take this mock up so here is a download free buys options and from here i'll provide the zero and i want this and giving the mail address so if you check out your inbox you'll get so you'll get that content and they will provide you the download link you can download from the, their website and it will take several time to uh, download and you can you can use that mockup that is the psd file in your photoshop so after completing download you can find this one in a download portion or wherever you download it and after that you will unzip that things here is the a portion which is the which is psd file and open it up in your photoshop after opening it up uh, which one you exported that is the png you can use that things in the uh, like uh, in this photoshop so how to use that this one our screen that means um, you can so those are expanded this one mock up and here this one is the shadow this one is the phone portion so you can uh, identify you know which portion or which one you want to use so now uh, here this one this one is my screen and uh, here is a smart object here actually reflection and this one actually you have to change and double press over here it will open up in new window that means uh, the a smart object window go to the file and place embedded options from here which one you exported or that is the png file i'll import that things and place it in this window and make it bigger like that and hit the tick button after that press ctrl or command s it will save in this window So after that you are getting uh, the full process is done like that and if you want to change the background color you can change it out so i want to give this type of color or you can give the white color or whatever color you do want so i want to give this type of color and go to the file and save as options and you can save this one in a jpeg format in your folder so i'm saving it in a jpeg folder the work is done so xd and the photoshop you can work with two things or sketch um, two or three things so this one was the first episode of the xd basic and uh, we'll go forward with this series so stay tuned in my channel don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications stay safe stay at home until the next video i am sending out today bye bye